most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life how you struggle i can't take no more Y'all, guess where I'm at? I'm here getting my apple, baby. My apple. It's fixed and it's ready. Hey, it's Ma, baby. Somerset, Troy, Michigan, boat. Oh, let me turn that down. I don't want to get copywritten. I am about to go in here and get my laptop that has been prepared. And, uh, did it burst I am going to upload a video tonight so stay tuned hey uh, you know what I got, I got something to say as I look at all the material world living in the material world material uh huh huh we are living in a material world and I am a material girl. You know that we are living. Yeah, that, that's what I got to talk about. Material. How I see so many materialistical people. And I don't care how much. Is that my car? I know that ain't my car. Hold on, y'all. Uh-oh. I think that's my car. I'm going to have to have my car serviced. Because uh, I hear that. I gotta get somewhere. Amazing grace. What's up, love bugs and love muffins? I'm out here at the Somerset Mall, right? And I'm just like, pondered by all of this uh, big bougie and, um, you know, the cars that I see, you know, the, the lifestyle, the rich and famous, as I can look around and see out here. And um and the and the and the people uh you know we, we don't we don't ever wanna hate on somebody that made it, you know what I'm saying? We don't wanna um you know have that little jealous spirit, you know, because a lot of people could be jealous of your success and things like that. And so you never wanna hate on somebody's success because yours never gonna come. If I could say it that way. I'm gonna park right up in here. Hold on, because I got something I got to say. Well you got you a good part, but I ain't mad at you. 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 All right, so I'm gonna park right here. Anyway, as I was saying, we don't ever want to hate on somebody's success. You know what I'm saying? We always want to be glad for that person or that them people or that individual because when you be happy for somebody else, your blessing is coming and you want somebody to be happy for you you don't want nobody to be jealous and hating on you so but I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that to, to say what I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say is even though we can have all these materialistical things and everything and everybody would think that your life is oh oh so happy and oh, everything's hunkadory and you know we got it like that and I can get up and I ain't got to worry about um uh struggling for this or struggling for that or wanting for this or wanting for that I could go get it you know what I'm saying and stuff like that and um because I have been blessed uh with uh a daughter that has that you know what I'm saying that had changed our lives she has you know but you can't just sit and give the glory to a person when uh God had God is the reason behind everything that we have and own and um and even though it may have been predestined in her life um he is the one who predestined that 
may I say. Okay, but I just want to say this. I never, ever had been, uh, I've been in a place in my life where I thought that um, if I had this, if I had that, I'd be happy. I, I, I wouldn't be struggling. I, I, you know, I just, you know, I just, I just want the mediocre things in life. You know, just give me a, a nice crib and a nice car. You know what I'm saying? Nice clothes and expensive perfumes and stuff like that and nice shoes. And, you know, I don't want to struggle with bills and all of that. And I have that. Okay, I'm gonna say that. But I thought that um, that would take uh, that that would take away um, everything I was, go was going through and everything that you know hurted me and you know. You know, stuff in life, you know, just for like, well, if I had this, I'll be happy and stuff. But, you know, it's not true. You know, it's not true, especially being on this side. I was on the other side of the fence where I struggled. I mean, my I'm, my life is just so opposite of what it used to be. You know, I didn't have, you know, I struggled. You know what I'm saying? And and, and a lot of times I, I struggled um, because I felt like, you know, your, your past goes all the way back to, you know, your your struggle goes all the way back to when you were a child, when your mom and daddy was telling you, get your education, be the best that you could be. And, you know, um, my dad still harps on it sometimes, you know, he still harps on, um, you know, if, you, them, them grades. I just don't understand how you, you went from A's and, and B's to D's and E's. And I told my father, you know what, you don't know what was going on at home. You don't know what was going on in my life. You don't know what I was struggling with at home. So... I don't know why you you keep bringing that up now you know what i'm saying I, i'm not you know a bum in the street you know what i'm saying and i did go back and get grab some education you all um when i was 19 i went to cosmetology i did that um it's a lot of competition out there uh i did, didn't stay with me long so I, I i took and i went to become a medical assistant then a cna and stuff like that you know but it, it's like i just felt like if I have this, if I had that, you know, I'd just be a happy person and stuff like that. And people treat you different, you know, they won't look down on you and stuff like that, you know. And I, and I thought all of that stuff, you know. Now, 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 the first part is true, you know. Um, you're not, you're not happy with material things. You got to be happy within. That, that's got to come from the inside. You got to be happy from within. Do, do people treat you different? Oh my God, yes they do. And it's a shame because society has made it like that. Society has made it that way where um, people treat you uh, if you got a, if you're a class A or a class B, you know, they, they diff different levels. You know what I'm saying? If you just, just high class and, or you just middle class and, you know, but you know, low class, you know, they, they look down on you or some say, Hey, low class, you real, you know, it's, this, it's two sides to it. You know, um, uh, if you, if you low class, you know, meaning, um, where, you know, we, we struggle where I was, we struggle where I was and, you know, um, on section eight and things like that. And, uh, then robbing Peter to pay Paul didn't have it all. Didn't know wh where I was going to get it from, but I knew where my help come from overall. You know what I'm saying? It was God, but, um, people, they say people like that are, they, you real, you real, you know what I'm saying? Or, they, or, or you got the other half to look at you and be like, you ain't nothing. You ain't gonna mount to a hill of beans. Your, you, 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 your life is good. You, you know, you're, you ain't gonna mount to anything. Come on, you're a nobody. You're nothing. And that's a shame how society looks at you like that. You know, but just to let you know, just because of the material things that you have, we can't take none of this stuff with us when we leave here. And what is most important is your soul. Your soul is important. It's my my soul is which God says I am royalty. God told me I was royal. He said, I am, we, my people, I am a, a, of a royal priesthood. That's what he told me. That's what he said in his word about his people, about the saints of God. We are a peculiar people. Uh, 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 we are from a, a royal priesthood. That's that's where we come from. Why? Because we serve a mighty God. Because he is king. He is king of kings and lord of lords. And, and a cattle on a thousand hills he own. The earth is his and the fullness thereof belongs to God. That's why I'm a king's kid. That's why I'm royal. You know what I'm saying? But we, don't, we, 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 we go by, like I said, the class A's and class B's, what levels you are and what level of lifestyles you live. All of that is beautiful and everything, but it does not my happiness, I am nobody and I am nothing without God. I cannot make it without him. I don't care. I sat in a big, beautiful home in Georgia and I was unhappy. I was unhappy on the inside. Hold on. I was interrupted by that phone call. But, you know, it matters where where my soul lies. It matters where, where um, my, my, my soul is. And like I said, I sat in, 
in, in a big beautiful home and I was just unhappy on in, in the inside because I know that if I was to leave here today or tomorrow that you know it, it depends am I rich in God you know it matters to be rich in God if you're rich in God you got everything you got everything and what I mean by that is you serving him you you belong to him you serving him you went through all the procedures the steps of uh being saved and um being a child of God you know what I'm saying you didn't repented and you know, you didn't been baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost, and and you got yourself in a truth, a, a church of truth, you know, and you walking up right and talking up right. You you're working in the vineyard with the saints. You're you're out doing things of of God, and you're witnessing unto Him and telling of His goodness and all of that. That's the richness of God. Is what I'm talking. About. That's salvation. I'm talking about. Um, when you have that, um, there's there's a joy, unspeakable joy that goes down on the inside of you. It's a joy unspeakable. That is rich. That is rich. That is more rich, richer than the lands that you own, the houses that you own, and, and how much land and cars and expensive stuff that you drive. It don't matter about none of that stuff, y'all. It don't matter. I found out that it's not happiness through material things, but it's happiness in God. And I thank God that he has blessed my life. Don't get me wrong. I thank God for his blessings. He's got me in a space where I am I am fulfilled everything that I have asked God for God has blessed me with um, and I'm not gonna forget it I'm not gonna forget that and I'm thankful for, I'm forever grateful and I know that God is going to um continuously bless me and also that he is going to bless me uh, with my own blessings as well you know um, he has something in store for me I trust him you know I just want to tell you all that though I just want to say that to y'all that you know it's not about what you what you don't have um, uh, uh, materialistically because you know with God it's it, it's it's like what I'm trying to say is if you don't have God you ain't got nothing you can have all of those things and whatever and of course we want those things of course we want them but you can have that too you know because it do say in his word if you if you delight yourself in me I will give you the desires of your heart or and he said that um seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto you that's what he's talking when he say all of these things the things that you want and you desire you can have that as well just place your joy and your happiness and your um hope in god and um and everything that you ask god for um if you be, uh, be willing and obedient you shall eat the good of the land you shall and that's what he say in his word and um just being obedient and to him and his word he is going to make that happen for you because um i've never seen the righteous forsaken nor is seed begging bread and i'm going to go ahead and end this video and i just want to tell y'all peace out in jesus name be blessed